so this is going to be a bit of a um a trial of sorts so basically i recorded a, a few arc videos but any half hour video that i make and you guys know i prefer to do the longer videos just because i like the longer stuff um is over 10 gigs in size like it's 8 to 10 gigs in size like that warcraft video i uploaded was 8.5 gigs um, it just ridiculous so I'm gonna try recording in a lower quality so the size will be lower so hopefully I can upload it faster we'll see um, but anyways we are playing Ark it is heavily modded and we are also playing um, it's solo there is nobody else on the server at the moment which if you guys want I will make available but we are <coughs> excuse me we are playing on the Crystal Isles, which I have never played before. So, this should be interesting. Okay, so we're just going to do that. Default settings, because I, I don't really care. Yeah. I love the sounds your character makes. Also... <laughs> Um, every time, and I, I apologize for my 8th grade sense of humor, but your character... Oh. I was like, what the fuck is that? Um, when your character rips ass, I just, I laugh every time. So, I apologize that I have the humor of a 5th grader, but it just them farting, it just, or him taking a dump just makes me laugh, just the sound effect. Because <laughs> I never expect it, and all of a sudden you just hear ass ripping. Oh, makes me laugh. And it really should. It really should not. Oh, okay, wood. There we go. Okay, so, uh, to go a little bit more in-depth as to what I have... Oh, are those not rocks? This is why I turned ground clutter off, because it's so annoying to try to pick up a rock, and it's not really a rock? I don't know. Actually, that's a good point. Do I have ground clutter turned all the way? Ground clutter. No, I have it turned all on. Alright. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'll find a rock somewhere. God, it's so bright. Oh. That's a long way down. No, still can't find a damn rock. <clears throat> That's annoying. Oh, those are crystals. That's really cool. Okay. So, R dot bloom quality dot zero. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, that's one of the things I always end up doing, just because it, it gets so bad. If you do I need a, a fucking rock, though. And I'm not seeing any. Ah! Rock! Finally! Okay. Uh, let's do our weight. So, experience gain is set to zero. Farming is... Um, or experience gain is set to one, so it's just your your default farming. Um, yeah, and just in general, that's that's the way that it goes. Now, I am going to be doing something a little bit different because I do have a couple of mods that are extremely overpowered. Um, namely, they are the what are they called? Um, it's the party of six mod. And while I don't, oh, I was supposed to make a stone axe. Shit. Well, I'm about to level up anyway, so I'll just... Gather Reese. Well, that was dumb. I for because I forgot is what happened. There we go. With a stone axe. Campfire. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay, so... Puffy. Accept. And then drop all of these skins. Now, I do have a survivor that is able to... Um, I'm kind of curious what that's going to look like but on a raptor. But uh, Oh, yeah, so mods about the server. So I have a ton of character mods. Um, like It's obscene how many new dinos and shit get added to the mod. Um, it is ridiculous. 
which is good. Okay, so let's do that. I was not supposed to do that. Motherfucker. Now I have to find another rock. Aha! I found it! What the fuck am I harvesting? Give me the rock. But Party of Six is... I always forget. I'm not supposed to do that. You're supposed to make that. <clears throat> but yes, so the Party of Six mod is incredibly overpowered. To make things a little bit more balanced, I will not be using it. Or rather, I am, but I'm not going to be using the more uh, overpowered classes. So, in other words, I am not going to be using um, the Brawler, Defender, Controller, Hunter, or Arcanist. Rather, I'm just going to run the Mender class, and the Mender is the healer. So, while it's not... I don't have the ability to just murder everything by looking at it, I will instead be able to just heal. That looks really cool. It's also really bright. Okay. Well, at least we won't have to worry about getting crystals. Um... Let's see. Let's go ahead and drop us. This is probably going to be a terrible mistake, but this looks like a good. Yeah, because I like being near water. Um. So yeah, we have a bunch of creature mods. We have a bunch of other mods. Um, which is you know totally fine. Yeah, really. I just need to start hunting and start killing shit. <coughs> Oh, interesting. So we get raw salt here. But yeah, I've <coughs> I've actually never played this mod or this map, uh, the Crystal Isles. I always just played the the default one. So this will be very interesting to me. I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like. Uh, I also have more narcotics. I have, like I said, extra creatures. And just real quick, I want to see what the map looks like. Wow! Holy shit! Good lord, this map is huge! Hi. Like, this is a massive map. My gosh. And I'm just, like, in this one little section. Wow, this is going to be fun to explore. And I think there's a volcano over there. Wow, this is going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I have never played this, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know where safe areas are. I don't know where carnivores are. So this will be mm, scary. <sighs> okay. Uh, we have a campfire. I need a spear, though. Um, I also need to start building stuff. And that's kind of the reason why I ended up not going with the... Um, not the Arcanist, but I ended up not going along with, um... Come on, brain. I know you have... I know I have one. You need to work. Uh, that's why I didn't do Arcanist, and I think it's Brawler or Defender, because both classes have a ability that makes it so they don't um, get hungry, thirsty, and in the case of the Brawler, they actually don't get um... What, what is it? Hot or cold. And then for the Arcanist, they actually get health and stamina restoration for free. So it completely eliminates the healing aspects, like food and needing to make sure you have water and that stuff. So that's why I didn't run with those, because part of Arc, and I think this is true for a lot of people that play this game, um, unless you're one of the people like me that just play it for way too long, they don't realize that Ark is an experience. And what I mean by that is that once you get to the point that you are you're able to do everything and beat everything, there's really no point in playing further. Because you can do it all. So why keep playing? There we go. Wait. Then I should probably build pants, but... Alright, let's build preserving salts, because I know I'm going to need those. Okay. Can 
we build? Yes, we can. Awesome. And then I'll just place these and destroy them to get some of the resources back. Unfortunately, I only get half the resources back, but that's alright. Actually, there was one mod that I was playing that I thought was really fascinating. Called, uh, what was it called? It was called The Hunted, or something like that. And it just looked absolutely fascinating. I was really excited to play it. But unfortunately, they changed how... Um, oh, yep, that's... I hate how you can't cancel something already in queue. But they changed how it... Um, There's a good flat area. Uh, I guess I can just stack, but... I do... Okay, this is gonna drive me bonkers. Ah, here we go. Nice flat area. Five, six. Um. Yeah, because I have a feeling I'm gonna do. <sighs> oh, shoot. Wait a minute. No? Okay. Yeah, because you want everything to look uniform. Um, and then... I need to place that so I can demolish it. But yeah, Ark is an experience. And so when you remove the experience aspect of it, you're kind of left with something that it's, you play, you get bored, you quit. And not everyone is like that. A lot of people do enjoy ARK, which I'm very grateful for. ARK is a game I have, ARK is one of three games that I have over a thousand hours in, and that will never change because there's so much to, to ARK that I just love doing, so. So let's do another thatch. Or another two thatch foundations. And then we need a bunch of these. More. Okay, what am I running out of? Oh, I'm running out of fiber. Oh no, I'm stuck. Don't worry, there's a solution to this. Oh no. Even Fly won't let me get away. Oh, I have a lot of wood. That's probably what's going on. Actually, does that way more? Yeah, that does. I always thought that was fascinating that, like, sometimes things that you have end up costing more than, like, the sum of their parts, even though, like, I don't know. I mean, it, it does make sense. I was just always kind of like, huh, that's a weird... Uh-oh, where did I put that? There it is. Okay. So here's a trick, if you're ever overburdened and you're near your base and you just want to get your shit back to your base, do this. It's so dumb, but it does work. 
and you can literally just chuck it. Like so. Okay. So normally I build my structures um, two walls high. But I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, I have a solution to this. I need to build a... I can't build a campfire. And I know exactly why I can't build a campfire. I don't have enough stone. Yeah, we got really lucky spawning where we did. <laughs> See, I warned you. Uh, just every time, I that is going to make me laugh. I can't help it. I'm an idiot. Just that ass ripping. Oh well, that actually does work, um, because what I'll do is I will just... Oh, they won't let you... Ah, uh, interesting. Okay. That's fine, because I was kind of going to do this anyways. No, it's just out of range. Okay, there we go. Which, that's fine anyways, because we need to have this fire going basically constantly. Uh, and the reason for that is because I want to have... You want to have a steady supply of charcoal. And if you don't... Um, awesome. Awesome. Uh, because you want to just be able to make... I don't want to run out of spark powder once I start building preserving bins. Um, and you definitely need spark powder for preserving bins. So you need a lot of preserving... You need a lot of spark powder. Um, so, oh, did I not get the thatch ceiling? Well, I did. S plus thatch ceiling. Yeah, so... Ah, here it is. Okay, what am I running out of? That. I think I'm going to run out of thatch and fiber. Fubar. There we go. But yeah. Arc is fun. And that's the thing, like... That's why I haven't played the crystal thing yet. Um, that's why I haven't done more with like the series and the thing in general, just in general. Um, because honestly, I Ark is a journey, and I don't want to burn through it. Like I like taking my time and just exploring. Eight. I'm one sh shy. Well, we'll find out what I'm shy on. Okay. And like I said, once I get to the point where I am able to... Oh, that's right, I forgot. S plus doors actually open just automatically. Oh, that's so nice. I missed S plus. I really did. Yeah, but I thought S plus was like one of the mods that they made just like automatically part of the game. Did I miss something or I don't know. Oh, it's raining. I was like, what is hitting my man? Okay, so just I need I need the muff patch. Come here, Thatch. Come here, Thatch, boy. God. I can't believe Rolf is Goku. But at the same time, it makes a lot of fucking sense. 
Uh, I, I miss... On one hand, I really miss Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And on the other hand, like, it would never fly nowadays. And that just kind of makes me sad. That, like, I, I don't know. Well, I don't get political about shit, so, whatever. Okay, so I need water because I'm dehydrated. And there's fish in the water, which is really neat. So yeah, we're actually really... This is a really good... We got really lucky, guys. Is basically... Oh, this comes down to... Okay, so I'll do that, that. Um, I also want the mayo berries because those are good. Storage, Mender's Tech. Because the Mender's Tech is really helpful for us. Um, oh yeah, I also have the uh, Avatar uh, Arc mod, which is really fun. So, that, that, and... No, I can't make narcotic. But we do get our first mender ability. The healing orb. Ranged AoE heal. Costs 30 stamina. So yeah, the healer is just allows you to heal. And I really like that idea. Okay, so... <laughs> why do you need stone to make food? I mean, if that's what you what you need, really, it won't let you make all of them. You can only make it one at a time. Oh, wait, no, yeah, there it goes. That was weird. Get rid of that. <clears throat> well, we now have 30 food. So, to give us an idea, our food is at 48.4. We eat a Mender's Heart Attack. Goes up, yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't do it by a ton, but... Then again, how easy it is to make does kind of break the things. Also, I am a bit concerned because as of so as so far, we've only seen fish. We haven't seen anything else. That's not necessarily a good thing. So, hmm. because that means there's nothing close by to really tame, which is not good. Okay, so let's see. We definitely need narcotic for taming. Um, I want a spyglass. I want the awesome spyglass. Um, we're going to need a bola to tame as well. Okay. Okay. So, now that we have that, we have a basics of a base. I don't really need to carry all this wood now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do... Oh god, that's right. I forgot, all the Structure Plus stuff has, like, increased uh, inventory slots and so on. I can't make the Pestle. Because I don't have Hide. I forgot. So, yeah, we need to go hunting and we need to kill shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I need to find something to kill. As dumb as that sounds. Now, I don't remember if fish... Oh, I was going to say, did my spear really break? <laughs> the spinning fish. I don't remember if fish gives you skin or not. No, it does not. Shit. But, I do want to check. No, these don't count to actually give you crystal. That's actually kind of bad, um, because we need crystal to make our spyglass. Hmm. We definitely want to have the spy- okay. I think we're gonna have to go on a bit of an exploring thing, but I wanna stuck upon water before I do. 
And some hard tack. Oh, I should make more, um, spears, actually. Really? Oh, that makes sense. But that's why I set the farming and the gathering rate so low, is because I kind of just want to explore. And in regards to the future of these series, um, I'm not going to be just... Wait, what did I get rare flowers from? Did I get them from here? Oh, I did! Interesting. Hmm. Very peculiar, sir. Okay, that'll be enough spears. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe this area isn't as good as I thought, because while it is great for resources, and it seems to be fairly protected. I haven't seen any dinos up to this point. Unfortunately, we also haven't seen any dinos up to this point. So that's a bit of an issue. Because unfortunately, a lot of shit requires hides. No, I've seen one pterodon, that's right. Or pterodactyl. But that's not enough. Which is strange, because, like, shit should be spawning. Like, these areas should have something nearby. I mean, one would think. But then again, maybe it's just not on the beach. I, I don't know. Yeah, see, there's turtles down there. Okay, so I just need to find a way to get down to the beach. Or rather, a way to get back up again. I mean, I could... I could do something which would be, like, a little bit cheaty. Yeah, shit's just spawning down there, so that's the issue, is I can't get down there. Okay. Well, it won't be cheaty, because it's not going to be, but, like, I don't want to do this. But I'm going to have to, because we need to have access to hide. Um like to do any we need access to tames and i'm not going to be able to get them unless i'm down where the tames are happening so what i'm gonna end up having to do is um back at the base there was a section where you could just jump off into the water and normally that is an incredibly dangerous idea however what i can do is i can jump down and i can use um i can build foundations and theoretically, I could just nerd pull all the way back up again. Um, and I could build a ladder um, to do that. Oh, so I need to be level 13. What level am I now? 10. I'm not too far away, but that's still... Uh... Well, either way, there didn't seem to be any way down from this side. So... It's too bad the fish doesn't give you food, because that would really allow you to... But yeah, there has to be a way to get down, or there has to be spawns that happen near us, because... Oh, that's... Wait a minute, don't... <laughs> uh... Is that cheeky little... Or I can wait for a pterodactyl to land, which seems to be a fairly rare occurrence, and then use a bola on it and just beat it to death, but that doesn't seem very productive. Interesting. 
So this would actually be a, a good place to build a base, too. Um, because this broken ground area would allow you to... Um, it, it would limit what dinos can actually get up at... Some of the larger ones probably would, but... No, nothing spawning over here. Fuck! I need a way to get down. Yep, yeah, there's a megalodon. Water is scary in this, by the way. Uh, water is not... Wait, there's a red one just sitting there? Are you serious? Okay, this I've got to see. And I kind of want to check, because, like, I am curious about how... Oh, we can't make bobos without hide. Yeah, level 70. But usually red... Um beacons spawn in areas that are incredibly dangerous. So the fact that it's just in, like, right off the beach is really weird. Okay, and I'm gonna do just a quick reconnaissance, because this is... Oh my gosh, there is no way to get down. Wait, no, it's all the way over here. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, and then there's those, which are carnivorous. They are evil. Um, I also have a Colossal Scorpion mod, which is really fun. So yeah, we're definitely going to be taming Colossal Scorpions, because I fucking love those things. Um, yeah, so unfortunately it looks like we did not pick a good place for a base. Not at all. Which is too bad, because it is really nice. Um, is there a faster way over this way? Nope. Nope, there's nothing. Well, shit. So I don't want to cheat, but I think I'm going to have to. Um, yep. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to do this. I am not high enough off the ground yet. Because, like, I... I don't want to cheat, but I, like, walking all the... That would be a huge waste of time, and I'm not going to do it. So the times where I'm... And I'm going to establish right now, like, when I use console commands. The only time I will ever use console commands is if mm, I am in an in recoverable area and slash or um, I, it would just save time and nothing else. A level 135. I don't know if I'm going to have enough spears for this. No, oh, I find out. Yeah, come and get me, bitch. Oh my gosh. Oop. Oh no, I threw the slingshot away. Can I make another one? Wait, did I not get the slingshot? No, I did. Okay. Okay. So I can't make a slingshot. Very careful baiting, because if that thing hits me, I'm dead. Okay, th so that's kind of a strange... But I have found that sometimes creatures will do exactly that. Um, they will just pull away from you. Um, for no real reason.
Because I hadn't even really heard it. Yeah, see, now it's circling back. Um, but yeah, it just it's an interesting concept. And um, it's definitely going to be something that, like, like I said, I'm not going to use console commands very often. It's just going to be something to save time. And not just like a, oh no, I don't want to walk... No, that's exactly why I would do it. Like, I don't want to... Well, no. Okay, so, like... Um, let's say, uh... That... That tall island, like, right... There. Um, in the distance. Let's say there's metal there. And I don't want to walk all the way over there to farm stuff. Well, I'm not going to use console commands to fly over there, harvest metal, and fly back. Because I need to have a harvester, or a farmer, you know, I, I need to be able to farm that resource, that, that would be cheating for me. Whereas, just getting down here, um, that's different because, like, I actually need a hide. <coughs> um, and I'm not gonna cheat to get back. What I'm going to do is I'm literally going to build a way to get back up this cliff face. So, I just need to kill stuff to get to level 13 so that I can start building ladders. And I actually may, um, so I have the ability to, oh, I didn't turn that option on. Oh, no. I may have to go check my settings later. Um, but I do have the ability to turn on creative mode, which I may do. Not because for items gain, but because when you turn on creative mode, it gives you access to every possible blueprint you could ever make. Um, which is something that is incredibly helpful. Yeah, because if that thing hits me, it's going to hurt a lot. Then again, I probably shouldn't have picked a fight with a level... 135. Then again, I think I can actually build a bow. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. Um, actually, I'm gonna check, because I think I can. Yeah, I can. Okay. We'll do a bow. Because that'll make things so much easier. I mean, all the stuff that costs zero for the castles and settlements and stuff, I'm not going to do that on screen. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Boo. What am I missing? Fiber. Oh, gosh. Okay. But that's something I can do. And a bow is going to be super help. Alright. You do your thing. I'm just going to build a bow so that I can murder you more effectively. And I want to make sure that I have... Uh, Oh, whoops. Turtle? Uh, so that's something else that can unfortunately happen, is now it's just gonna infinitely circle away. Yeah, so now I just need flint. Or it got stuck on something out there. And now it's fighting that. Which is incredibly frustrating. Yeah, so I just really need fiber again. And if it wasn't night, I would go pick a fight with it. But I can't risk doing that because we know there are sharks in the water. So. So I really shouldn't be doing this. Oh, this is incredibly shallow water. Oh, that's actually doable. That's not that's 
that's completely safe water. Okay, so where the fuck did that turtle go? Also, apparently we're in a temperate zone, because normally going into the water at night like this um, would definitely... game is ridiculous sometimes. There we go. Finally, a hide! And we're getting meat, which is something else we desperately need. Uh, not for consumption, because we have our heart attack, but... Uh, we need rotten meat. Especially because uh, one of the first teams I'm going after is probably going to be the Colossal Scorpius. Or Colossal Scorpion. But to do that, we need to be able to tame, um, or I need rotten meat for that, and we need rotten meat to make narcotics. So, oh yeah, but in the hunted, uh, there was actually another thing that they did with the, um, with the narcotic taming, where they made it so that to make narcotics, um, you have to harvest venom from dinos and creatures and shit, and like mix it with other stuff. Like, it was such an interesting idea. Um, you have to manually skin creatures to get hide, which was such a cool concept. I really liked that idea as well. I think that's a Dilo. Excuse me, are you a Dilo? Yeah, unfortunately, Dilos are... Oh, God. Run! But yeah, it was just, it was a really cool idea. It was a really cool concept. Like I said, though, it just kind of made it so that farming was, or uh, taming creatures was very, very difficult. And that kind of made it not fun to play. I'm also not getting nearly as much experience points as I should be. I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Okay. Um, let me see. So we want to skip the wind walking. Oh, that's right. I forgot. So here we go. This is how we get up and down the, the wall. We can just fly now. That's helpful. Um, yeah, here you go. Reduces max melee damage, but it gives you health, food, and water recoveries. Like, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, um, stimulant, because I remember there is shit that requires it. Um, I am going to grab a small crop, because we are going to need to build a farm at some point. Um, and then I'm also going to craft... Where's the stackable notes? Okay, and then crafting, because I want... I'm kind of curious what that looks like. And I may not have enough stamina, because it says 25 stamina a second. Five. Oh. That looks really neat. Oh, that's really cool! Ah, oh, I like that. Now I kind of wish I could find something to kill or hurt, and then heal it, and see if it worked on things that I'm fighting too, because... An AoE heal, that's not necessarily a good idea. <gasps> that's a frog! Fuck yes! Ooh. Okay, that's also really good. That's fascinating. Mm. Okay. But more importantly... Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay. What we need to test is this. Oh my god. That drains so much. Or that drains so fast. We might not be able to get back up again. I don't know. 
because I might kill myself in the process, which would defeat the purpose. So, I'm also not getting very many uh, spawns, even down here, which is a little bit surprising to me. Damn it, where'd that turtle go? Oh, well. Miss chance. I just... Chiton would have been incredibly helpful. Well, it, it is what it is. How long until fucking day? I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. I kind of want to be able to see. Because if I could see, I would risk going into the water, since, you know, as long as you stick to the shallows, usually you're okay. Although, frogs only spawn in the swamps, so if there are... <laughs> if there are swamps over there, that means there's also leeches. So I want to be especially careful about that. And I also saw a couple of colossal scorpion in the water, so it could be that that's a spawning place for them as well. Um, so I want to be... I don't know. Just, just want to be careful. Finally, more skin. Time to die. Oh, he died so fast. Okay. I think I'm going to end things here, especially because this is more of a trial video. Um... In essence, what I'm going to be doing, and this is where I'm going to talk about, like, what I'm going to do with this series, like, I'm not going to show everything, um, but generally, all I'm going to be doing, like, I'm going to eliminate a lot of just the mindless tedium for you guys. I'll cover the important stuff, like, when I actually do go taming. I, I will show that. But for right now, really, I'm just going to be walking up and down the shore, killing everything I can, getting as much skin, or hide as I can, until I'm loaded up. And then from there, I'm not really doing anything. Like, I'm just doing that. And then I'm gonna, um, yeah, just get as much skin as I can. So, you guys won't miss out on anything important. I'm just gonna, like I said, weed out all the boarding mindless tedium shit. And then uh, I'll come back and record more when something interesting happens. Or before I do something, like, actually important. Um, but, so yeah, I'm just gonna be farming hides and killing stuff, leveling up, and then, uh, I'll probably see you guys when I start going a taming, because that'll be the next thing. So, I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.